Hello, dear Phasmatic friends! Today, another logarithmic equation. Follow me, please. First of all, we are going to identify that is an equation and that is a logarithmic equation. After that, we have to see if we have only one term on the left side and only one term on the right side. Here I have one term separated by a negative sign of another term. And here I have only one term. Then I need to get only one term on the left side in order to start. So, what can I do? Well, I must think about the properties of logarithms. Remember our video? when we talked about properties. And then I can see that um, I could use the property of passing this factor to the exponent. You can never work if you have a logarithm multiplied by something. So you can pass this 3 as an exponent. So I am going to write logarithm base 4 of x minus logarithm base 4 of 2 to the power of 3 equal to logarithm base 4 of 5. This is better, but I don't have only one term. So, I must use the property of the quotient for logarithms. Remember, when you have the subtraction of two logarithms, you can write logarithm base 4, in this case, of x over 2 to the power of 3 is 8. You can put parentheses if you want, and after that, equal to logarithm base 4 of 5. And now, I have one logarithm here and one logarithm here. I can start my exercise. So, how can I eliminate a logarithm base 4? Well, if I put a base 4 raised to the logarithm base 4, this will be eliminated. But if I put a base 4 here, I need to put a base 4 here also. And then, we will eliminate 4 with logarithm base 4 on both sides. And after that, very simple, x over 8 will be equal to 5. A very simple equation, linear equation. So we'll pass the 8 multiplying 5 times 8. And the answer will be 40. Please remember, when we make logarithm equations, we must verify that this number replaced here will not give us a negative number or a zero. Here, there's no problem, then the answer is 40. Thank you very much, dear Phasmatic friends. See you next time.